Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Citicom video, let us discuss the recent news concerning NVIDIA and the GTX Titan Black Edition as well as the GeForce GTX 790. So I have done this as an article if you really wish and desire, which has links to the original source. There's not a huge amount of information regarding this, only that the rumours are that it is being worked on and we're going to be seeing both cards well, within the first quarter of this year. We have a little bit more information on the Black Edition. Predominantly, as I'm sure many of you are aware, the Titan was originally released and was the fastest gaming graphics card available. As well as typically used for like high-end workstations, like if a gamer wanted a Quadro type of performance, but also a gamers, then the Titan was a good choice. But... In addition to that, it was also a little bit faster than the GTX 780. Then what happened is AMD released the R9 290X, NVIDIA released the GTX 780 Ti. Both of these were significantly faster than the Titan. Well, maybe not significantly, but certainly faster, and they were cheaper. And so, let's be honest, from the gaming perspective, they were better cards for the most part. There were smarter purchases. So NVIDIA didn't want that. They didn't want that um, the flagship Titan had inferior performance to the GTX 780 Ti. So rumor has it that they're going to be releasing the Black Edition, which is pretty much exactly how you would expect. It's the GTX 780 Ti, but with a better double precision compute performance um and more ram it has double the amount of ram that's six gigabytes there's no mention on clock speeds yet but that means we're going to be getting 2880 cuda cores 280 tmus texture map units and 48 rops once again if you miss any of that you can simply check the article and it's also got links to the original source what about the geforce gtx 790 well, as you would expect from the fact that it's the GTX 790, we're going to be looking at two cores. So that's two GK 110s. Now, once again, we don't have exact confirmations. You may remember just a while back that I was doing very similar rumors, and uh, back then I mentioned it was going to have 4992 CUDA cores. Um, which is 4,900, sorry, 2,496 times 2. And we're going to be having a 320-bit bus, which means we're going to be getting 5 gigabytes of RAM per each of the GK110s. So that means 10 gigabytes total. Now, that means that likely we're not going to be seeing, as far as what we understand, we're not going to be seeing full GK cores, most likely because of heat and so on. Um, obviously it needs to be kept reasonably cool, the cooling solution needs to be um, not too elaborate, power requirements are going to be another thing as well. Unknown what the clock speeds are going to be like, hopefully they don't take too much of a hit. Obviously one way to cut back power consumption is to reduce the core frequencies. I'm hoping that's not really the case with this, but I guess the only thing we can do is wait. And I'd like to reiterate, I'm not saying this is 100% true, but, well, the site is reporting it, and it seems that they've got some information regarding it, so figure it's better to report it than not to report it, right? Anyway, I'm unsure how smart of a purchase these would be. In particular, the 790, well, actually, either of them, unless you're, like, really hurting for one with Maxwell, uh, looming but the problem with Maxwell is it seems to be that that um, how can I put this that that figure in the distance it's always several um, hundred steps ahead of you but you can't quite make out the shape in other words the video have stated pretty much that we're going to be seeing the lower performance parts first so you could end up by buying for example the GTX 790 let's say in uh, March or April 
and the and the Maxwell derivative, the one that's as fast, if not faster, than the 790, may not appear until Christmas or later. And so some people might say, hey, you know what, I'm just going to buy this, make do, uh, you know, enjoy the card, and then buy another one and later. Once again, we don't have prices for this, but we're probably going to be looking at the 1K, like a thousand bucks. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As I said, I can't give you solid information. I wish I could, but it's only rumors and hearsay at the moment, which are my mortal enemies with news, but there you go. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.